Hey guys, what is up? My name is Drainin, and if you're watching this, it's probably because you're on my channel. Today, I'm actually going to be doing a breach like tutorial thing for Valorant. Now, I got access to the Valorant closed beta a few days ago. I'm one of the lucky ones. I know it was after 40 hours of grinding, and I got my key. And I fell in love with breach when he was revealed, and I'm falling in love with breach with the actual gameplay and seeing how it goes. So I figured I would show you guys best how to play breach in the closed beta and potentially the full game. Now, things are subject to change and maybe there's gonna be some nerfs or buffs for breach in the future but right now i'm showing you the best way that i play him and how you can get better at playing breach and why he's probably one of the most essential operators for anyone right now now right away on defense on bind i like playing him in short a kind of like in that little uh, corner by the crates but then also right beside the bathrooms and this is because you can help counter push in bathrooms and you can help support uh, what's going on at short a chances are you have someone camping u-haul and so you can help support them and help them get some frags as well when it comes to playing breach and i cannot stress this enough the primary thing you're going to be wanting to do is make sure you get the most bang for your buck for utility and aftershock is super helpful for damaging and killing enemies and also clearing a zone and this also goes well for his flashes and his fault line and so why you're camping in short a is because you can completely stop any sort of bathroom push. If you hear they're coming, you can use fault line or you can use your aftershock and actually most likely you're going to be comboing them. And what you're going to be doing is you're guaranteeing a kill if they're going through that area of washrooms. That's a guaranteed kill. And if they're in U-Haul or sorry, if they're pushing short A, then you can flash it through the crates. You can flash it through the wall. You can also use an aftershock to help counter that push. You can do a lot of things. And you're camping A because you want three people A at least. If you have a cypher, you want four people A and cypher B because B can literally be held down by two trip wires. Um, but you want m most people A because you can just rotate to B through the teleporter. But basically, you are camping there and you <laughs> literally have complete control of washrooms at all times. And the only time you don't is if your short A gets pushed really aggressively and somehow he gets killed and you get killed. But basically, you're going to be playing him short A most of the time. So uh, when you're watching this, you can see I flash through the crates. It's super helpful. There's two different sides you can do it. You can also flash through the wall here where I'm standing or through the f you can do a fault line and uh, ruin their movement for the short A push. Basically, uh, you have a lot of utility here and you have the perfect places to use them. Just make sure you don't flash your teammates, make sure you don't concuss your teammates, and always make sure, in general, that you call out when you're flashing or when you're concussing, just so that you don't end up hindering your teammates as well. For attacking a bind, I prefer the short B push, and this is just simply because Breach uh, has the best capability here. So right away, what you could be doing is you can line yourself up for Hookah, and there's always someone that kind of camps in the corner there, so what you're going to do is you're going to set a fault line through, uh, or an aftershock, and I would honestly recommend you do both, do a fully charged one, you can get all of Hookah and put it in the corner, and then you can use your aftershock and make sure that if someone was in the corner, they can't run away. So honestly, what you want to do the most of the time is you want to make sure that you have the best literal lines that you can do according to the map. And it's lucky because you have a full map that you can see. So if you line it up properly, just make sure that the whole laneway is covered by your aftershock or your fault line, and make sure that uh, you can kind of secure the highest chance of getting a kill. This way you're guaranteed at least two kills uh, with the aftershock a game and doing this hookah push is incredible because if no one's camping hookah and you get that window access suddenly their person who's watching long is gonna have to rotate back and so your long kind of frees up uh, so long as you have someone there watching just in case they're not gonna rotate and you also have your teleporter there too you can hear if they're rotating over so basically you have established that you are going to be you're not necessarily completely committed but now they have to play reacting to what you're doing as opposed to you reacting to what left. they're doing which puts you in an incredible powerful position but that doesn't say that he's useless for an a push as well generally you'll be running him going a short and you'll flash immediately you could get their u-haul uh flashed or if you do get a little bit of media control you can flash the other side of crates which flashes their heaven which flashes their u-haul which flashes on top of truck it basically flashes their entire site and it's incredibly powerful and from then on your team can make a lot of pushes and you can use your utility you can also use your aftershock through u-haul to make sure you can kill someone there it doesn't work um or you can also push through bathrooms and you can try and aftershock the person in the crates in the corner or aftershock the person in the corner of the short A where I just showed you. So you have a lot of utility here. It's just, to me, I don't like pushing it personally. It's literally just a personal thing. I don't like pushing A. But if you do, that's awesome. And Breach has every capability being used here effectively. You can also fault line from bathrooms all the way into heaven and, and fault line their heaven. So quite literally, you have... Left. 
excellent opportunity for utility every single place in this map. Split is another map in this beta where he is fantastic to be used. Personally, I would recommend camping B and helping your B push try and get through warehouse. You can do this by flashing uh, the enemy team if they try to go in there. You know, there's generally a sniper duel that happens there, so you can support them by flashing through the wall there. You can camp upper or lower. I'd recommend lower right away though, because if you hear the push, you can fault line that immediately and give your team enough time to rotate or to reposition or help your main fragger, who's probably camping at the bottom of B, ready to push out, help him get a few easy kills. This B kind of wall is your main security here for a while, but you make sure you don't waste your utility. You have to make sure you're using it wisely. And I mean, that goes uh, for every round, but especially in this location. Additionally, you can help mid greatly by flashing or by fault line the entire thing or even using your alt basically you have complete access there but not as much as you do on offense and i'll get into that in just a little bit when you're doing a defense you can camp behind the the laneway that they're going to be pushing through and you can either fault line it um or stun it you know like if if you know they're pushing maybe they have an ice wall up or maybe you don't doesn't matter if you know they're pushing have your fault line ready stun them and then put an aftershock to the wall and you can do a lot of damage get a lot of kill or just hurt their momentum which hurts in this game dramatically if people don't have momentum additionally if it's smoked off maybe they smoked it or your team smoked it they won't really know if there's an aftershock coming which means you can probably get a kill if they're rushing that eight really hard additionally you can use it to counter any sort of rope pushes um you can use it for retakes as well there's a lot of possibility that you can do with breach on defense here he's mostly for defense though you're looking at him to stop the a rush or stopping a b rush um just make sure you don't give a mid control too easily so if you're done at lower b try and rotate back to upper b make sure you can help your mid support if that happens when attacking you have a whole wide variety of options depending on whatever lane you actually want to take. If you're going to be going with A, you have two very strong options. If you get that rush, you can actually get your aftershock placed on any side of that front part or like right side of, uh, of the actual site in that A area in that hallway. Or you can go back to the ropes and you can actually concuss the entire laneway up until where their op's going to be, like if they have an op, uh, they're probably going to be sniping it like that back thing. But you can also angle it so it just covers the the corners of the left peak so that they're more exposed and if they miss their first shot if you push in they're easily punishable and you can take that site really easily you can also use your fault line to get heaven or you can use your aftershock uh, trying to damage heaven or underneath heaven you can additionally use it to flash the entire site as well you can flash either through the area where you're going to concuss the laneway or you can flash uh, the laneway itself and uh, potentially flash someone who's camping top heaven or low low heaven as well so when you're putting a you have like maximum use for your utility and that's very important with breach on your side you're almost guaranteed to win the middle battle if you uh, flash right away you can stop whoever's camping the like, rope side if they're gonna be watching that angle but you can also use your aftershock and potentially kill them or at least zone them out so then they get out in the open Additionally, you can use your aftershock or you can flash through the wall of B and make sure anyone's camping that left side can be punished. You can take B very well with these flashes. Uh, and if you have a Phoenix, you can use your flashes in conjunction and you can completely demolish mid to B in about five seconds if you do your play right. And it's incredibly powerful. Additionally, your fault line can be helpful here, but right when you're pushing mid, probably the biggest thing you're gonna be using is your aftershock and your flashes. If you're gonna be pushing B main or B long, whatever you wanna call it, usually what you can do, because again, there might be a sniper waiting there, is you can flash the wall immediately, hopefully blind them off of it, make them run back. And then you can blind also through the wall of warehouse to blind heaven and that lower area. You can also fault line the back corner or you can blind through the, like that little wooden thing, sorry, stall. Um, and blind anyone back there as well. Basically, again, same thing on this site is the main thing you're gonna be getting use out of is your flashes, maybe your aftershock. You can actually use it from underneath and hit up into heaven, but for the most part, you're just gonna be using your flashes to get your team on site, and then the rest of your utility is gonna be used to slow down their rotate. Currently, the third and final map of this beta is Haven, and it's where Breach is the weakest currently. There are three different sites to protect. Honestly, I'd recommend you go C or B. He's not very helpful in A. Um, right away at B, especially in like mid to late rounds, you can flash their window right away to stop a sniper pushing out, or you can snipe through the wall to potentially blind their sniper and blind any push that they're doing towards garage. That's probably the best play you can do with your flash and your aftershock can maybe get someone in the window. 
Uh, but for the most part, you're looking at just flashing and halting their push a little bit, maybe using a fault line if you know they're coming. Uh, but always staying in cover and making sure you only peek when you're pretty sure you flash someone. When you're defending C, and this goes for every other site in every map ever, you almost instantly want to charge a fault line and make sure that you can fault line long C the entire way within the first few seconds. You're going to know if they rush because even if they are rushing, your fault line will be fully charged before they make it into the ramp and you're probably going to have a second person at C watching as well anyways. But if you hit this and that means you can stun them all on C, you can get them trapped and potentially you or your teammates can frag them out really easily because of that. You can additionally aftershock the little nook in case someone hides in there and you can also flash the walls to make their snipers and their long range peekers if you're ecoing have that much more trouble killing you which means you can score free kills and perhaps save some money on weapons the next round. I'm not going to talk about defending A because there's really not that great positions for him compared to anyone else like he's just another op when it comes to that so you don't need to worry about that but we're going to hop into attacking C in which you can do the exact same fault line strategy on the other side and if you do it right you can hit the diagonal peak make sure that their platform guy is stunned and you can cover that right away so you can do a very good c rush if you pop that fall line and you flash through the crate and blind their entire site additionally from the same corner you can also hit uh their their mid and a little bit you can flash you know you can you can help mid as well if that's what you're going to be doing uh, so you kind of have some safe options from this corner if you're going to be peeking mid or you want to help your sniper at mid, what you can do is you can flash the outside of your window or even better if you can get it, flash high up in the B site and you can flash their sniper, maybe they have another person up on top of crates, basically you can flash the entire site. And so you can blind everyone, help your sniper get an easy pick, potentially two, get some intel and maybe you guys can push through that just from one or two of those flashes. Again, A is the weakest side for breach. You can potentially put a fault line down long in case you're worried about someone peeking there or you can try and push long and get a fault line on site. You can also flash the wall from long and blind heaven, but really that's the most you're gonna do here. You can also fire a flash through the crates if someone's on the other side, but that's basically it. After that, you're just on defense and you're trying to use your aftershock to zone the way you do in any other time. So there's really no strategy for A that I found that's really consistently work or worth using your utility. Really quickly before we're done, I want to show you guys a quick little trick that you can do to push or have your teammates push that's actually really effective. So when you're using your aftershock, the first part of it is slow and you can see through it. So if you're using it to push a corner, you can actually aftershock. If anyone's there, they're going to be running away from it. And to run fast, you have to look away from something. So it's quite possible that if someone is there and you know it, if you aftershock around the corner, you can follow it if you time it right to try and see where people are through the aftershock and kind of like appear like a magician or shoot through it and kill them because they're not looking there or they're backing off and they're more worried about the animation and they might not expect your push with it so aggressively. That's a really handy trick. And I figured I'd put that near the end of the video just for those who are awesome enough to stay around and view the entire thing speaking of which thank you so much for watching this video uh i'm gonna be making more of these probably i want to make them better so if you leave comments how i can better edit these how i can better com composite them that would be amazing because i want to make sure i can give you guys the best kind of tutorials and stuff especially for breach but just in general for valorant that i could possibly do now <laughs> i will admit i kind of kerfuffled this whole recording because i recorded this all with live audio only to realize that I had messed up my recording and none of my audio was recorded. So as opposed to going back for the hour or so of footage, I decided to just put all my audio in post and so some of the clips don't match up. But I hope this did help and if it did, please like and subscribe. I will probably be doing more of these things again and I'm definitely putting up Valorant content. Right now I'm streaming it almost every single day and literally every time I play it at my channel twitch.tv slash drainin and i'm playing with some of my friends most often so you can always catch us there for good content good games we're going to be trying to go competitive in this there's a tournament coming up that we might enter either way i'm really excited for this game i hope you guys are too and uh let's get going boys let's go breach mains Woo!